up guys welcome back to man cave collectibles coming at you today with another figure review today we're going to take a look at the articulated icons the feudal series basic ninja in brown so this is a figure that i picked up actually on a recent toy hunt at one of my local toy shops and just thought it was really cool looking it's it's not necessarily for any particular line i guess the line is articulated icons uh, but I'm thinking that it could fit in with Marvel Legends, maybe even G.I. Joe series from Hasbro. Probably any six-inch uh, action figure collection, I'm thinking this guy could kind of be slipped in as a ninja. So we're going to take a look at it today and see what we think. The box, simple enough. Articulated Icons logo up top. The Feudal series tells us a basic ninja in brown here. Flipping around to the side, we do have some product images here of what looks like the uh there's a sand color uh kind of a lighter brown which uh, it doesn't appear to have it says this is our basic ninja brown but that actually looks more kind of like the sand color to me then we've got a green a purple and a gray as well would love to get my hands on the gray i love gray in fact i'd love to get my hands on any of these but the the uh, toy shop that i went to only had the brown and the tan has a little write up here kind of on the ninjas uh, if you want to uh, check that out, bring it in. You can pause the screen there and take a look at what the write-up is about. Flipping around to the side, we've got the basic ninja again. And then another little write-up there that you can pause the screen and read if you wish. Now, uh, these were shown as a MSRP of $39.50. I got mine for $30. Bucks, so um, looks like they're selling for maybe under the retail price. Uh, which is good for us as collectors. Uh, as we flip around to the top here, we do have the Foosh logo. Now, the Foosh is a YouTube channel, a very large YouTube channel here that uh, covers toys and toy news. They do interviews with different folks. It's it's actually one of my favorite channels, uh, you know, really from a, from a toy standpoint. So if you've never checked out the Foosh, check them out there on YouTube. They've got their logo here as well talks about where it was manufactured giving some thanks out to certain people the design folks uh, so pretty cool let's go ahead and break this guy out of his packaging and see what we got all right guys so we've got our articulated icons ninja out of his packaging and onto our view table let's go ahead and take a look first off at accessories and we do get a handful of accessories i was quite pleased getting the box open uh, kind of seeing what we have uh, so we'll start off here we have a dagger that is very nicely painted can see there it's painted in a chrome silver uh, the handle here painted in a black with kind of a uh, it kind of looks like a wrap kind of around it there a little hole here where I guess if you wanted to you could kind of put a string or something on it if you wanted to kind of customize it a little bit yourself so that's pretty cool it looks really really nice very well sculpted and painted we get a couple options as far as the straps you can see here out of package he comes kind of with uh, almost more like a vest type of strap or you know what you would see uh on like your typical book bag you know he doesn't have a book bag but i'm just trying to use kind of you know what it looks like then you also get what i would consider more like a traditional strap that kind of would throw across uh, the chest here and it actually has a hole in the back there you can see so that the pegs for the swords are able to go through that hole and secure it into his back. We'll take a look at that a little more here in a little bit, but it looks good. It's painted really well. Uh, the, the metal bits are what's supposed to be the metal bits here on the strap look really, really nice painted in that silver. We also get uh, dual swords here. So they are different sizes. You can see here we got a short one and a long one. These are painted very nice as well. Painted a nice chrome color. So far, the QC on this has just been phenomenal, guys, as far as accessories are concerned. Uh, the handle here does appear to be uh, just sculpted plastic black, but uh, but that blade's very nice, come out of package really nice and straight. That is the shorter one, and then we get a much longer sword here, which is painted and designed the same way. Real nice and straight out of package, black handle there. And those just slide back into their sheaths really nice. They do secure in pretty well, so they're not going to fall out on you, uh, you know, if you were to flip it upside down. Got that small peg here that, uh, you know, will go through the strap and into a peg hole on his back. So it looks really nice. They're secured together. Now you can remove them. You can see there the, uh, the peg and the holder does not 
you know, secure into this so you're able to, to remove this if you want to. I think that's a pretty cool uh, option there if you wanted him to be, you know, holding the sheath in one hand and the sword in the other. It would make for some nice pictures and things like that. Now, we have multiple options as far as his heads are concerned. So, the head that you see on now has no hood or cover over the top of it. Uh, what we have here is we have another head that does have the covering uh, around it. And you can see it's tied off here in the back. So that would be one head option that you have. Now, with this head here, you also have a full cover for it here. If you wanted to use that to completely cover the head, if you did not want to use this, but you wanted to look as though he did have that option, we have this, which you could throw on him, and this would be draped, you know, back behind his head and, uh, you know, kind of wrapped around his neck. So, you know, one cool thing about this that, that I think was really, really smart thinking on uh, Articulated Icon's behalf is you could have this same figure. You could have three, four at least four, maybe five of these, and they all have a different design. Anywhere from the straps that they have, uh, if you were to you know, alternate out the straps, uh, the, he the different head options, just a really, really cool design to this guy and really thinking ahead uh, on behalf of the company that made these. Now, we also get some additional options for his hands. You can see the hands that he has on him. Those would be like our sword holding hands uh, or our dagger holding hands. So those are, those are cool. You, those are must haves. Now we also got two additional pair of hands. So we got just a regular fist hand for the left and right there. And they, they look good. They look identical uh, to the hand that's, uh, you know, paint wise to the hands that he comes with out of package. And then we also get two, you know, we can call them karate chopping hands or flat hands uh, there. So if you wanted to pose them that way, you can. Now I do have one issue here. And, you know, I, if you are, uh, you know, familiar with my channel, I don't bash figures. Uh, you know, I know that figures when they're in that 20 and $30 price range, you're going to have some issues sometime. I have found one here on this one that is a fairly disappointing issue. But I don't know, maybe I can reach out to the company and they may be able to help me out as far as getting, you know, getting something in to fix it. But you can see this hand here. Uh, this hand basically does not peg in. You can see how easy uh, that came off. It's, it just, it, it actually, the, the, the way I noticed it was it actually fell off in the packaging uh, for me. So what I think what we have here is, is, the, is our peg hole is slightly too big for our peg. So that's causing this hand here to slip on and off. Uh, and you, you can see just kind of how it, you know, you can probably could just knock, yeah, you can knock it off. So that is a little bit disappointing, especially being that it is my sword holding hand. Uh, now I did put on a different hand there. That one snaps in perfect. It's in there nice. It's not going anywhere. The articulation's there with no problem. Uh, my other sword holding hand, uh, it's it feels a little weak, but it's holding on. So at least I have one sword holding hand that appears to be fine. But I just want to go ahead and point that out, guys. Again, it's not a it's not a bash uh, on the company. It's just it is what it is, you know. And and pr I'm, most likely every figure in the line does not have that QC issue. Uh, but it's something I want to point out. I try to be very uh, upfront and, and open in my reviews so you guys can kind of see what's there. So I don't know that it's, that it's a problem within the line. Most likely it's just an issue with mine. Let's take a closer look at the figure. I think they did a phenomenal job on the sculpt and the paintwork of this figure. So we'll take a look here at the face. You can see here, got those nice green, kind of neon green eyes there flipping on around. You can see we've kind of got this strap that we were talking about just flip, you know, pretty much covers front and back. We'll take that off here in a minute and exchange it out so you guys can see how some of the options look. Uh, got some nice articulation here as well. We'll talk about that. Real nice kind of black wash along the uh, kind of the wrinkles of, uh, you know, the ninja and his suit there. Looks good coming on down. Uh, you know, the, the whole ninja suit is one color, but 
they, you know, one of the things I love so much about what they did here was they added that black wash. And this is something we don't see with things like, you know, Marvel Legends anymore. Uh, Hasbro would typically give you this figure, but this would just be one brown color all the way down. So for them to put that black wash in there really, really adds to the detail. It adds to the, the look of quality, I guess is maybe the way to put it. Uh, but it just, you know, they did a great job on it. The plastic feels good as well. It's a nice, heavy plastic. The figure itself doesn't feel like it's going to break in your hand when you go to articulate it. It does not have a cheap feel. It feels good. I mean, to me, it feels as good or maybe even a little better than some of our Marvel Legends do. You can see here in these knees really nice thick joints in there look at that you know and uh let's just look at the difference in uh, you know a knee joint kind of what i was trying to describe there so i've got our electro figure from our spider-man line retro spider-man line so you can see the back of this joint here and not that there's anything wrong with you know having the smaller joint there but sometimes marvel legends if you ever notice they come in the package and those knees will be very warped uh there so you know, you can see the difference, you know, in the knee joint there and just they got this big thick piece of plastic there. There's no way you're breaking that, you know, not not in your normal course of business with your action figure. So just, you know, just a little something I've noticed a little uh, to me, I think a little better quality maybe in some areas uh, than maybe some other action figures. And that's not the Bash Legends. I love Legends. I have a ton of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, just something I've noticed I want to point out. And then as we uh, continue to look on down here, we get down to the feet. You can see we've got kind of that ninja style foot apparel there on the uh, foot. So this, this guy really looks good. Let's do some of the uh, swap out so you can kind of see the different options that he comes with. All right, guys, just a bit of advice here as far as getting this off. And, and this was fairly simple. So for that to come off, the arms would need to pop off. And they come off very easy. They don't feel like it's going to break anything. Those pegs appear as though they're kind of made for that. And they just pop right back in. So we'll go ahead and we'll slide on while we got that off. We'll go ahead and slide that on. And then I'll show you here. These just pop right back in very easy. No problem at all. I actually like that. I like how simple they made that process there. There we've got, if you want to change out, you know, this strap for that strap, very, very simple process. Takes no time at all. Uh, we can pop this head off here and pop this head on. Okay, guys, so there's that additional head there. If you wanted to uh, do a swap out on that, it looks really nice. You can see it just, uh, you know, has kind of the tie in the back and just kind of adds an extra layer here on the side. Uh, you know, where this head sculpt just kind of has that tighter looking, you know, Deadpool type of, uh, you know, mask. All right, guys. And then we've got the uh, kind of hooded look here. So it gives a real mysterious look to that face. This one, I, I don't care that much for this one. Uh, but, it's you know, it's cool that they give the option. I just don't, to me, it just, it's not clean enough through here uh, for me to really kind of roll with this one I, I think if it if this came down a little farther uh you know and kind of kind of connected with that chest area a little more you know maybe so but that that just you know just slides on and off it's very very simple to get on and off but if you want to have the appearance that he has that hood and just does not have it on you have that option as well so you can see here he's got the hood here he just goes around the neck and kind of settles there along the neckline. You just pop the head off, pop that on, pop the head back on. So I actually do really like that look. I think that's a that's a very cool look there. Now, as far as if you want to see how that looks with the uh, swords here, his katanas, you basically are just going to line up the peg hole here on the strap and the peg hole here with the peg hole on his back. And then you've got a fully weaponized ninja well, not quite fully weaponized. Now you've got a fully weaponized ninja. All right, let's cover some articulation with this guy. So we'll start up top with the head here. So we can get that head to look down a good bit. Really nice range of motion there. As far as looking up, lots of up. Man, great, great neck articulation. Uh, not really anything side to side, but you can spin it 360, no problem. Get those arms up to there with no stress. Full 360 without issue. Got a cut in the upper bicep there, double jointed elbows, 
lots of range of them. Look at that. You can almost touch the hand back. So really, really nice there. We've got kind of your standard articulation here, but the, um, the joints are a little bit hindered by his uh, kind of his ninja suit there. So you can get that side to side, plenty of range of motion, 360 there, no problems. Uh, we got a nice abdominal crunch there and back with no problems. Um, we got a little bit, I can't tell if that's just, if, if that's a loose joint or if that's actually crunch. I don't think it's crunch there uh, in the waist, but you've got plenty of 360 there, 360 here. So you got a lot of articulation in that torso area. <laughs> Get those legs all the way out. Okay, tons of range of motion. Yeah, look at this. I mean, you're going to be able to do all kinds of ninja stuff with this guy. Cutting the upper thigh. Again, as we talked about, really nice double-jointed knees there. Feel real solid. We have a cut right in the calf there, kind of at the top of his boot, I guess you could call it. Lots of ankle rocker and plenty of forward and back. And I'll tell you guys, the articulation on this really feels fantastic. Uh, it does not feel cheap. Uh, it does not feel like it's going to break uh, in any way. It just has a really, really nice feel to it. Very clean. It almost has that same feel, uh, you know, if you take your Marvel Legend and kind of run them under hot water for a minute, it really loosens those, those joints up. This guy has that same feel kind of out of package, which is really nice. So you can tell whoever really designed and put this together really has a knowledge of action figures and kind of knew what they were doing there. So really, guys, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal figure. With the one exception of the peg hole that just ended up being too big, just a little bit of QC there uh, that can certainly be kind of a one-time thing so i don't you know i don't foresee that most likely being the issue with the majority of this line probably just with mine uh but just a really really good figure let's go ahead i'm gonna bring up some different figures for size comparison all right guys so we got kind of a vast array here for you as far as size comparisons just so you can kind of see where this guy stacks up We've got our Casey Jones from the cartoon NECA TMNT line. We've got a standard six inch Marvel legend. We've got our super seven Raphael, and we've got Hollywood Hogan from the Mattel Ultimates line. So you can see, this is my opinion. I think he's perfect because typically you don't see very large ninjas, you know, ninjas for the most part uh, that we see in movies and cartoons they're typically on the smaller side. You know, they're more probably in that six foot and under uh, size. If you go back and watch the Ninja Turtles movies uh, back from the 90s, you know, your ninjas were just never super, super large guys. So if you look at him next to a six inch figure here, I think he's going to fit in really well. But let me know what you guys think. Now that you've kind of seen the review, you've seen the size comparisons. What do you guys think of this line? Is it something you're picking up? Is it something you didn't even know about? Uh, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review video, hit the like button. Helps get the video out there for other people to be able to see. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Would love to have you as part of the Main Cave Collectibles team. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time.